Williams is reportedly getting first team reps for Oklahoma this week at practice after he replaced an ineffective Spencer Rattler during the Sooners big comeback win against Texas last Saturday. Rattler started the year as a Heisman favorite and was the projected top pick by many in the 2022 NFL draft. Shannon, how surprised are you by all this? I'm not surprised at all. And I've been telling you all along, Skip, I just don't see what you see. Mm. I, I didn't see it. I said, Skip, I don't see what you see. I know you're saying that Lincoln Riley is great, the quarterback whisperer, and he had two guys, Baker won the Heisman one year, and next year come Kyler, and then the next year Jalen Hurts finished second. And mm -hmm. I said, Skip, I just don't see it in this kid. Yet I offered you a bet before the season started. I would take Spencer Rattler for the Heisman, and you turned me down. I wanted what I should have took what to, uh, Bryce Young. Mm -hmm. and I didn't know what Bryce was going to do, but that's okay. okay. You did not have the courage of your conviction. I got, I got the courage of my I, conviction. I think you started to see it in games one, two, three, four, when I'm like, what happened to you? Where did you go? He, that, he, that was that guy all along, Skip. Yeah. Skip, look. Well, I mean, I don't know why you canceled the press conference. Everybody knew this Williams kid was going to start. You were down 28-7. This kid comes off the bench, and, and, and the, the greatest come from behind by either side in the 100-year history of the rivalry, he leads you to a victory. I, and am, you, I am still shaken from it. Yeah, Seriously. And so you actually thought, we thought, that you were going to put this guy back on the bench. Skip, this ain't some walk-on. The guy was the number one recruit in the nation. He was he a five-star. Five-star. He ain't some bum. He ain't some fly-by-night. Dual threat. Yes. So for me, everybody, oh, we can't read like uh, the student newspaper went to some building and they saw Caleb Williams taking all the slap. We knew who was going to start. You can do all that where, well, you know, we go both teams, both guys will get reps. Man, you weren't fooling anybody. Mm -hmm. For that kid to do what he did, yep. there's no way he wasn't going to start, Skip. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I will first tell you <laughs> that in all my years, I have never seen anything what is, uh, like what has happened to Spencer Rattler. Right. In all my years. Right. Last year, a year ago, in the Texas game, he got yanked for a couple of series. Right. But he shook it off, and he came back, and he led us. And I am a dyed-in-the-wool, born-and-raised <laughs> University of Oklahoma fan. He brought us back to an overtime win over Texas, and they won out. They won their next seven, and he went 15 touchdowns to two interceptions. He was the runaway Heisman favorite before the year yeah. started. And he number one pick. Consensus yes. overall number one pick. And you're telling me he's about to lose his job? Yeah. No, no, he ain't about to. He okay. lost it. <laughs> All right. I wasn't sure about that until I read the student paper report. They were up in one of the towers looking down on the field. They, they tried to, to sort of blot out the windows of a lot of the dorms during the pandemic last right. year because they didn't want some kid just looking out his dorm window because right. they overlooked the practice, practice field. Right. Well, this is the first time you got an issue going on because what happened in the Oklahoma game also dumbfounded me. I loved what Caleb Williams had done, and he made the play of the year to, to Marvin Mims, if we could see the throw that got them in position right. to tie the game with the two-point play. This is the one where he just took my breath away, and I said, okay, that's the guy. He throws it on the run off the wrong foot to Marvin Mims, who'd been sort of an also-ran because he'd lost his wavelength with, with Rattler. Look at this throw. I mean, I'm just he like, throws that ball, okay. He throws I, that ball 55, 57 he, he yards. Off the wrong foot yeah. running forward, okay? And then that, that sets up a two-point conversion to tie. Well, guess what Caleb Williams had been doing all year? He had been running short yardage and goal line. Right. That's what he does. He right. runs the two-point plays right. because he can run it as well as throw it. And what happens? He sends Spencer Rattler back in. I said, Lincoln, what are you doing? You're sending the guy back <laughs> in who, who does this worst. Right. This is where he chokes. This right. is where he, he goes blind. And he throws it to Stoops' kid, little Drake Stoops, right. for the two-point conversion to tie the score. You're kidding me. So it led me, it gave me pause, and it led me to believe, gee, is he going to try to work Spencer Rattler back into the starting lineup this coming we, and by the way, Holly Rowe at ESPN tweeted after the game that she was lined up, ready to interview Caleb Williams, and Lincoln walked over and said, no, he will not be interviewed. And it shocked me because the Thank kid you. deserved his moment. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he had earned, if any freshman had ever earned the opportunity to get some national pub, he, he deserved Yeah, it. you got to let him have that moment. Okay, yeah. let him have that moment. But I thought, well, is he trying to protect the kid or is he just trying to keep him... 
kind of in the shadows right. because he wants Spencer Rattler to get the job back. Right. I wasn't sure until I read this report, and now it seems full on sure that it's going in that direction. Well, his dad is sure because you heard okay. what his dad said. Spencer, Rat Spencer <laughs> Rattler's dad said yesterday. Well, and again. He, he has another year of eligibility, and I assume if, if this is where we're heading, he's going to transfer. Oh, yeah, he's going to transfer. Okay. Because he can't come out now, Skip. After this, his, his stock is too low. Well, well now he's like a sixth rounder. Yeah. He went from top of the draft to, uh, like, I'm thinking. I've never seen anything like this. Never. And, by the way, he is still by far the most popular and marketable player in college football because of the new NIL yeah, arrangement right. that they have. He's projected to make 800 grand this year. He's represented by that Steinberg agency, the Lee Steinberg Re that represents Patrick, Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes. Yeah, and he's got two vehicles from a car dealership in Oklahoma City. He's got they're gonna, a, ask, they're gonna ask for one of them to get get one of them to I, Caleb I, Williams. You know, they they said not, but they, <laughs> they, they gave him a Dodge Ram and a Dodge Charger. They're not like exorbitantly priced, but but. Well, well you like, ain't got nothing. They're very hey, good. That's good. You got two of them. Yeah, you got exactly. Two of them, and again. Uh, there's this, uh, the, the CEO of a, a big technology company called uh, Open Doors. He said, Spencer Rattler is the most marketable college football player still. There is no doubt. The fact that this story tells you that, that, he, how, that this is a story tells you how marketable he is. Well, they're saying he's still marketable even though he's losing his job. But here's the thing, though, Skip. It tells you, know what? Why is this a story? Is that the guy came in as the projected Highland front runner, yeah. the, the consensus number one overall pick, and he got benched. That's why it's a story. There's nobody care about that marketability no, skill. I, I got it. And to me, after he got such a hot hand, listen, this kid can't wing it now. He's got yeah. a slingshot arm, but he lost his way. He lost his poise. He lost his guts in yeah. the pocket. He started he was bad all year, yeah. He's just been bad from the start. Yeah. They, they almost lost to Tulane yes. to start the year. Yes. And I'm saying, what are you doing? Right. Then every once in a while, he'll throw a rocket. Right. And say, okay, there he right. is. But but no, he's not. The marketability only matters to those companies that he's that he's marketing skill. They don't uh, 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 Lincoln Riley don't care about no marketability. No. Can you win me a game? I need winability. Yeah. I don't care about no marketability. I need winability. Well, this and is... he believes Williams gives him a better chance to win. Ben Spencer Rattler. And by the way, Caleb Williams didn't play last year because of the COVID. He right. just opted out right. and, and enrolled early and played in the spring game. And all my friends watched the spring game, and they said, this kid can play. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So well, we go. Been, they've been excited about him for a while now. And it is Lincoln's longstanding policy to not let freshmen speak to the media. That <laughs> yeah. has been the case for years. Except I'm not saying I one. agree with yeah. the idea that he shouldn't have spoken after that game and that comeback, but that is, of course, what Lincoln Riley has been saying. Word here. <laughs> <laughs> for years. He's strict with you his policy, have. guys. He is. He's really strict. Uh, what is next? Biggs is making a name for himself as the Cowboys' new shutdown corner. The former Alabama standout leads the league in interceptions with six after another pick this past weekend. He's on a roll. He has 12 games to get eight more picks to tie the NFL record for most interceptions in a season and would need nine to break it. Shannon, how much of a shot do you give him to break this record? I give him 2% chance. 2%. Yes, Gil, there's a reason why this record is still for almost 70 years. Mm. Dick, Knight, Dick Knight Train Lane set this rookie record in his rookie season. He had 14 picks. He never even got close to that again because why they stopped throwing at him. And eventually that's what's going to happen to him. Yep. They're gonna stop. They're gonna stop throwing at him. Now I can see if he was a safety skip, he could roam the field and that. But they're just like when you play corner, I'm not throwing it. I'm not throwing at time. I'm not throwing at these great Rod Wilson. I'm not gonna throw at him. Rod ended up moving to safety. He did and got and, and got a bunch of picks that way. But skip, I, I just think the thing is, is that yes, he's off to a great start. He has incredible hands. He went to school. As he went to Alabama as a wide receiver. Sure they moved him to the opposite side of the football. His brother is a wide receiver, so it shows that they both have very good hands. Mm -hmm. And he said, he, told, he called his big brother, and he was in tears because Saban said, I'm moving you to corner. Right. And Stefan said... Just embrace it. Right. You know, don't don't give up. Just just say I'm all in. Right. And look where he is and, now. And look where he is now. He's he's arguably one of the top two or three corners yep. in all of football. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I don't I don't I don't think he's going to get his skip because I remember you know uh, Mark Carey who came out with me. I think he had ten one year. Chad yep. Bailey had ten one year. Xavier Howard had ten last year. Yep. Skip, that's a lot of interceptions because but eventually they will stop throwing at you. They're not going to. It's not like a wide receiver skip that you can shut him down because. I throw enough targets at him, he's going to get the ball. You can't shut Devontae, Devontae down, Skip, because Aaron Rodgers is going to throw him 15 targets. 
if he catches eight, he's going to have great numbers at the end of the game. In a situation like this, I just won't throw the ball your the way. Then how are you going to get picks if I don't throw the ball your way? Mm. So I don't think I don't I don't think he's going to get. I give him a two percent chance because anything's possible. But if you had to say, "Well, Shannon, put some money on," nope, I put money that he wouldn't do it. Mm. So you're giving him a milk chance, which is what you <laughs> drink two percent. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You give him a milk chance, <laughs> yeah. which is almost no chance. <laughs> no. I'm going to give him a shot. <laughs> I'm going to give him a 40% shot. 40? Because there's 17 games. Yes. And he's so far ahead of schedule that over the next 12, mm -hmm. he needs eight to tie and nine to break. Right. The great 